It has become known as the notebook scandal because of evidence contained inside a series of journals kept by a former driver employed by the Argentine government. Inside, handwritten details of journeys in which he says he ferried tens of millions of dollars in bribe money from business leaders to high-ranking officials of the Kirchner administrations. The allegations reached the very top. This week, former Argentine president Cristina Fernández de Kirchner appeared in court, summoned to give testimony in the case. She declined to speak, but in a written statement, denied any involvement. The case was sparked by investigative reporting by La Nación newspaper, which obtained the driver's notebooks. It has also produced what's become a long line of prosecution collaborators, business leaders seeking plea bargains. Many analysts are suggesting that the sheer scale of this investigation means that this could become Argentina's Lava Jato, a reference to the far-reaching corruption scandal in Brazil known as Car Wash, which affected the political and business class alike. The director of the non-governmental organization Citizen Power says there are differences with the Brazil case, but both reflect a deep-rooted culture of corruption in politics. It is a huge case. We are discovering the network of corruption, especially in public works in the previous government, together with construction companies, companies that were meant to give a service to the citizens. These notebooks have opened up this relationship between companies and civil servants, and behind this is also money financing politics. Beyond the notebook scandal, political financing has also come under scrutiny in recent weeks. Buenos Aires province governor Maria Eugenia Vidal announced an audit of campaign contributions after an investigation by another media outlet alleged money laundering. She then fired the party treasurer. Despite similarities of Brazil's car wash scandal, Delia Ferreira of Transparency International says reaching sentencing is a long and drawn out process. The Lava Jato investigation in Brazil lasted four years, and it was in a different institutional context. Plus, there's an important difference, which was the commitment of people in public opinion to support those fighting against corruption. In Argentina, the most recent polls show that people are not so concerned about corruption cases and are more worried about what happens with the national economy. Latin American nations have dealt with major corruption scandals differently. Now in Argentina, it is the courts leading investigations after accusations of looking the other way for many years. Joel Richards, CGTN, Buenos Aires.